the Apple Heart study was designed to tell whether we could have a very large scale, essentially virtual study done, uh, by which patients would enroll online, uh, download an app, uh, and use it for several months uh, to see if we could detect atrial fibrillation and then to see what kind of follow-up would be done uh, after that. So the main outcomes were looking at that correlation of rhythm with the EKG documentation. And the way they tell the rhythm uh, is by looking at the irregularity of the heart rate. So they have an algorithm by which if the heart rate's very irregular, then it starts to check more frequently. And if five out of six checks say it's irregular, the patient got a warning uh, that there was something that might be actionable on it, uh, they would connect with a telemedicine doctor, they got an EKG patch, and then they wore that for a couple of weeks to see what the correlation was. Uh, so when the study was done, there were over 400,000 patients enrolled in it, uh, although of interest, only 25,000 were over the age of 65. So, uh, and in terms of the correlation between that irregular, irregular rhythm on the, um, uh, the algorithm uh, compared to the EKGs, when they were done simultaneously, uh, the positive predictive value of the algorithm was 84%, which is quite good, but it's not 100%. Uh, when the uh, EKG recording was done remotely from when the algorithm was used, then the positive predictive value dropped to 71%. So they still have to figure out why there's that discrepancy, but the great majority of the patients actually proved to have atrial fibrillation. Now what happened after that though, uh, is that many of the patients didn't follow up. They didn't go see their doctors, they didn't change therapies, and so that's sort of a weakness of the study because um, if you're gonna study something like this, you wanna see it goes to the end that the patient gets the right kind of treatment. Uh, so I, I, I think that's something that we have to figure out how to motivate patients better to follow through. But then another completely unanswered question is, does it matter? If you can pick up episodes of atrial fibrillation on an algorithm like this, do we need to treat the patient before the time that they're symptomatic and go see a physician? So I think those are unanswered questions, uh, but it was a good start in terms of using wearable technology to uh, check on the health of the general population uh, and then follow through on the results.